everybody welcome back we are back in my inventory room about to pull orders from the week and the weekend uh, the reason I didn't get to pull orders this week is because we had a really massive snowstorm here in my area of Michigan so I could not get most of my orders out so I'm gonna do those now I have a list here with a pull sheet uh, today instead of flipping back and forth through the apps in my phone I have a total of 15 orders to pull I'm going to try using my chest mount today for the first time. I did want to try it at the uh, thrift store for the first time, but I've had a massive migraine for about three days and it just finally broke. And so now I'm going to pull orders, try it out, and bring you guys along. All right, chest mount is on and I'm excited to try this out for the first time. So let's uh, get this started. I don't know if I'm going to do a voiceover here or if I'm just going to talk because we'll see how the audio is. And I might cut this part out. I might not. <laughs> Excuse my random pile of trash. I was working up here earlier. Here is the pull sheet. And then hopefully, it seems like in this room upstairs, I tend to get a lot of scrolling shadows. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen in this video because I did move the lights. I know you can't. They were over here on the wall. And now they're up here. <laughs> All right. Let's see. First on the list is in box Y that's going to be over there that is that Trixie uh let's see it is a dog toy yep there it is easy enough this is nice doing it hands-free without the uh GoPro uh monopod uh, next is Cabela pants in box one that's gonna be right here and I believe they are already bagged up so they should be pretty easy to find yep there they are okay all right next we have a lot of stuff coming out of box 22 which they are all salt and pepper shakers, which means they're in this box right here next to box 22 because I thought that was easier to find or deal with, right? Nothing in here. Yeah, all in here. Let's see. So we're looking for these Noel salt and pepper shakers. Um, let's see. Pineapple with base. Yep, we sold a couple pineapple salt and pepper shakers this weekend. Let's see. Sold the pheasant. I know that. The salt and pepper shaker kind of weekend. Which, I mean, I guess if you're listening to a lot of that, then that's bound to happen. I know we sold this big one here. Dog with bow. Yep, sold that one too. Stein. No. Cabbages. Yep, sold those. Guess I should have brought a pen up here to do a check off which ones I've grabbed. No, I didn't sell a turkey. Oh, I did sell these bears, though. Mm -hmm. All eggs. Have these bears, fish, and birds. Okay. them all, but I'm going to show you just in Santa hat rabbits, that was another one. Oh, 
and pineapple man last one so we should have a total of one one two three four five six seven eight nine we should have nine salt and pepper shakers let's see hmm there's that black line again so if you're seeing a like a black shadow either either this room's haunted i haven't figured it out yet something in one of these bins is haunted if that's your sort of thing buy stuff in my store you might get something haunted um or it's something to do with the lights i'm assuming it's something to do with the lights or the settings i have on the gopro <laughs> one two one two three four five six seven eight nine okay we pulled everything from uh box 22 let's see Pink arrow greens are on a loose shelf. That's going to be one of these up here. You can assume that black line or black shadow is some sort of lighting malfunction. If you have any insight to that, um, please let me know. Help me out. I don't know how to make it stop. It seems like it only happens in this room up here, which has got the weird lighting. What we sold were these pair of... Sold this pair of arrow greens. I think I'm pronouncing that right. They are pink and white. I took a best offer today of $50. That's exciting. I think I paid seven, seven or $8 for these shoes from a Goodwill uh, secret drop box. Let's see, a Barbie Kelly in box 14. We're gonna be all the way over here. And this box for this Kelly doll is a little smushed, um, but that was disclosed in all of my pictures. And I think I took a best offer of five on this one. This one is uh, one of the toys I had when I was a child. And I just didn't open, apparently. Drop this little pep shaker. All right. Next up is a Gaffa Bear in box three. This came out of the uh, mystery plush box. It's going to be in this box here. We're looking for our pink bear. Not a pink snowman. Okay, so for those of you following along right now, I had myself to um, ship this Gaffa Bear. And I actually already shipped that. So go me. I'm going to rate the buyer because they must have already received it. And okay, so we have two on Macari. So we have 14. So this number here, this number here, minus one. Uh, Doc Plush. Doc Plush in box one. I just saw that one too. He's gonna be right. Nope, that's happy. I'm happy I got all these orders. <laughs> if you are liking my corny jokes or this point of view footage for today, please make sure to drop a like and a comment down below or subscribe, send it to your friends. Here's Doc. put them right on top of the pile there and this table is too small for my orders and the bears and we already got those so we're gonna snag this bag right here put these orders in it get some boxes and some poly mailers well probably not poly mailers I have those downstairs but we're gonna grab our shipping supplies drop them in this bag here and get these shipped out uh boxed up and ready to ship out tomorrow let's see what are we gonna do with Miss Kelly here? I mean, she's already smashed, but I don't wanna put her in a poly mailer. I'm gonna find a small box for you. I wonder if she'll fit in one of these. These are my four by four by four boxes that I get from eBay. These are amazing for Christmas ornaments, salt and pepper shakers, small fragile items. Um, they are very sturdy. I highly recommend these. Except for doing this with one hand, it's a little rough. Let's try to see if Kelly's going to fit in there. No, but I can still use this box anyway for a salt and pepper shaker I got going out. So we'll deal with Kelly last. So we have, what I say, we have nine, nine salt and pepper shakers. So we're going to need nine of those boxes. So we've got one, two, three. And that's it for that box of 50. Let's remove this. We're going to keep this box. It's a nice box. 
I'm sure you guys do that too. After you use boxes, you keep them for later on. Let's see. Got to cut open this box. This floor is so creaky. I don't know if you can hear it or not. Okay, so what do we got? We've got three boxes and we need nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go ahead and recount those real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hate to get all the way downstairs, you know, all the way downstairs. And then have to come up for another box. So there's that. That's going to be easy to ship. Going to put all these salt and pepper shakers in there. place here in my business to be like never thought I'd be selling mountains of salt and pepper shakers on an accidental purchase that turned into a good business decision weird <laughs> gonna get a priority mail shoe box for this one is that you yep shoe box shoe box bubble wraps already downstairs for that this one just needs a small box. I don't I can't remember if this is going priority or not. I think it weighed over a pound. <sighs> yep, priority mail. Cool. So we're gonna get you a box. Just need a small one. Not a medium. We don't need that big of a one. I think, I think this 1097 will do well. Yeah. 1097 for the doggy board game. Board game. Now, I don't know if I can get these in a padded flat rate. I might just be able to ship them in a poly mailer, depending on USPS priority mail. Email. So here's the question. Do I want to put the, do I want to try to squeeze these into a padded flat rate? Do I want to put them in a, just a standard size poly mailer or in a box? They're brand new with tags, fellas. I think I'm just going to pop them right here into this uh, bubble mailer. Yep, that's going to fit. We'll do the rest of that shoving in a minute. For now, we'll tuck that in there. And last but not least, we got to figure out a box for this little Kelly doll. Even though it's already smashed, I don't want it to get any more smashed. Okay, so here's what I figured out for the Kelly doll. What we're going to do is we are going to put her in here. We're going to make a new box and tape that up real well. We'll bubble wrap her too, obviously, because, you know, ship and be crazy. So we're going to make a brand new box. We'll score it, make a new box, and that will make me feel better because I don't have just a, a non-priority box here that's small enough for her. So that's that. We pulled our orders, um, and, you know, that's what I've got for Sunday. That's pretty much my orders for, pretty sure that's Thursday through Sunday today, which is the, I believe, the 21st. And thanks for coming back. Usually I try to post every other day. I know I've gone a few days without posting. Like I said, I've had a really bad migraine. You can probably tell by the way my hair is and uh, my awkward breathing because I'm just exhausted. So thank you all for sticking around. Like I said, please leave a comment down below if you are interested in seeing more uh, POV videos of me pulling orders or going into thrift stores. And thanks for coming back. I hope you have a good week and stay warm and stay safe.